Welcome. This video is going to give a quick example of how to use NX Advanced Simulation to analyze a simply supported beam using beam elements. And what you see here is a line. Uh, it's 10 inches long. And uh, for beam elements, all we need are lines. Uh, so what we want to do is go ahead and start the Advanced Simulation application by selecting it from the Start menu. And what we can do is right click on the advanced simulation part and select new FEM and simulation. And you can see that brings the new FEM and simulation dialog box where there are two files that are going to be created, the FEM file and the SIM file. Um, the other thing we need to do uh, so that we get this line in to the part, uh, we need to select geometry options and make sure we have lines selected here. And we're going to do all visible and click OK. And in the solution dialog box, let's give this a name, simple beam analysis. And you can go ahead and click OK. Uh, to that simple beam analysis. And you can see that the simulation file has been created, the FEM file has been created, and we also have our solution, uh, the simple beam analysis. And what we need to do is we need to mesh this curve or this line, and we can do that by activating the uh, FEM file. So double click on that from the uh, simulation navigator. That'll make that uh, FEM file the displayed part. And to mesh this uh, line, what we need to do is first we need to create a 1D element section. And uh, since we're using beam elements, uh, we need to define the cross section of our beam. So we're going to go ahead and create the section. And we're going to do a bar section that is 2 inches wide by half an inch thick. Go ahead and click OK. And you can see now we've created that bar property. Uh, go ahead and close that. And now we can go ahead and mesh our line. So we're going to create a 1D mesh from the advanced simulation toolbar. We're going to select our line and let's give it uh, 10 elements. And go ahead and click OK. Now, uh, what we can do is if we hit Control w we can turn off our curves. And we have our elements here from this mesh. We turn it off, we can turn it back on, see that that is actually the mesh there. And what we need to do is we need to assign that cross-section to this beam collector. Go ahead and right-click on the beam collector and select Edit. And we have this beam property. We can edit the beam property. And we're going to give it a four section of that bar that we created. And we also need to assign a material. So we're going to do uh, choose new material. And let's just select a steel material. Hit OK. And OK. And now you can see that we have our beam element uh, created. And beams are a little bit tricky. Uh, they have an orientation associated with them. If we wanted to orient that... Uh, in the other direction, what we can do is we can edit this mesh-associated mesh data. And we have this uh, orientation. And what we can do is we can change that to the Z. And that will give us the orientation we want. So now that we've created our mesh, let's go ahead and switch back to the simulation file to um, apply our boundary conditions. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to constrain our model. So we're going to do a new user-defined constraint. We're going to select the end of the line, uh, the node over here. And we're going to uh, constrain that in the Y direction. We're also going to constrain it in the Z direction. We're also going to prevent it from rotating in the... X direction and we 
we're also going to prevent it from rotating in the uh, the rotation about the z-axis. Now, since we're um, we also need to constrain the other end, uh, we're going to um, be taking advantage of symmetry here. So we're going to do a new user-defined constraint on the node at the end here. And since we're doing symmetry, uh, we don't want there to be any translation um, across this face, the symmetry plane here. So we're going to fix it in the x direction, as well as we don't want it to rotate about the y. So we're going to fix it in the y direction. Okay. Now we've got our constraints. We can go ahead and apply our load. We're going to do a pressure load. And we're going to make this uh, beam on beams pressure load. And what we can do is we can select our beam elements here. And we're going to do in the negative z direction, we're going to do a value of 20 pounds per inch. And you can see that that load has been applied. Now that we've got that load applied and our uh, constraints applied, we can go ahead and solve the model. And you'll see a bunch of windows pop up. There's an analysis job monitor. Uh, this model will run super fast because it's super small. Uh, when this says it's completed, go ahead and close all the windows. And we can go ahead and load the results and take a look. Uh, what we want to do is expand the stress no element nodal. And let's take a look at the von Mises stress. And you can see that the, uh, the deflection here looks reasonable. And we have a stress level there. Um, what I want to do is go ahead and show the undeformed model as well. You see that deflection seems reasonable. Now, one of the neat things we can do with beams is we can also take a look at the cross-sectional value, uh, basically the stress and the cross-section. In order to do that, we have to request uh, some addi additional information. So I'm going to go back to the simulation navigator, and I'm going to select the beam simple beam analysis, right click on that and select edit. And in the case control, we have these output requests. And what I'm going to do is edit the output requests. And I'm going to request force. And click OK. And we can re resolve, rerun the analysis. And again, once that's done, go ahead and close all the windows. We can load our results again, take a look at the von Mises stress, and we can um, take a look at the cross-sectional view of this element out here on the end. And with von Mises stress, as you would expect, you have zero stress in the middle and positive stress top and bottom. Well, this concludes our introduction to uh, beam modeling uh, with a simple beam. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any additional questions, uh, go ahead and visit our website at www.predictiveengineering.com.